The Oberk Company presents Bottle Parts 101, The Anatomy of a Bottle. Let's start from the top. The top of the bottle is referred to as the finish. The term finish originated when glass bottles were still produced mouth blown by a craftsman. And the last step in completing a finished bottle was to finish the lip. Today, the finish is completed first and is the glass or plastic that forms the opening of the container and is shaped to secure a closure. The sealing surface is the lip portion of the finish that makes direct contact with the inside of the closure, sealing gasket, or liner to form a seal. The thread is the spiral of glass or plastic onto which a CT, or continuous thread closure, is twisted. And the transfer bead is the exaggerated collar of plastic or glass beneath the neck area at the foot of the finish that is used during the molding process or can be modified to provide tamper evidence for your package. Before we move on, we should stop to talk about two important measurements of a bottle. The standard capacity is the normal or commercial volume of a bottle. When a bottle is filled to standard capacity, the contents usually fill to the shoulder area of the bottle. If you want to know the maximum fill volume of a bottle, that's the overflow capacity measured to the very top surface of the bottle. Moving down, next comes the neck, where the bottle shoulder transitions into the finish area. The neck base is the lowest point of the neck. The shoulder area transitions between the base of the neck and the body, which is the widest portion of the bottle. An important part of the body is the label area, the flat area of the bottle's body where a label or print decoration can be applied. Which brings us to the bottle's foundation. The bottom comprises the foundation of the bottle. The heel is the point in the bottle where the body begins to curve into the base. The base is the very bottom of the bottle, which includes the push-up. That's the concave area that helps to ensure stability, reduces the interior volume of the bottle, and allows the base to be marked with a recycling code, cavity number, and registration feature used during the labeling or print application. One last part to mention is the parting line, often seen as a vertical mark transversing the entire height of the bottle. It's formed as the two halves of the molding tool meet to close during bottle production. Have any questions about the anatomy of a bottle? Contact O'Burke Company today by visiting the URL on the screen.